<laughs> All right. So um, thank you very much, David, for having us here in your new museum in Prague, um, which will be opened first of April this year. April's full. April's full. <laughs> exactly. Um, we are standing here on the ground floor and there's one sculpture which we will be exhibiting at Art Castro this year on the first week of May. Um, the sculpture is called Kuvadis. And it's very old. It's very old. This one is the original part which is like an original trabi on fiberglass legs, if I'm correct. And trabi. And the original <laughs> trabi. trabi on top. Um, so just tell us a little bit about the story behind this sculpture. Oh. Well, well, the worst story is that we had to open it to get it here. We had to chop the food, well, actually the legs, and put it here and re-weld it. So we had to open all the windows and everything. And it was like, you know, shocking how dirty it was inside, you know, and how bad the trap is made. And it smelled terribly. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I can't imagine. <laughs> no, so, but I, I meant like back in the days when you back in when you built the original version, and it got like a detail. Also, there's a, a big dick on the back, um, which big is a, <laughs> a detail. I think it has a special meaning. So, what was the, the sculpture all about when you that, uh, when you built it the first time? It, I, I used it uh, kind of like a fun, whatever, memorial in a way of, of uh, the exodus of the, the East Germans uh, through, the, through Prague. And at the same time, it was, because I put it in front of the Old Town Square Radhaus. And, uh, and it was in, the, you know, in 91, uh, it was installed in the day of reunion of the German, German currency was the West and East. So it was the moment when the Germany become to be again the biggest country of Europe, you know. So it's called Kovari, so it was in the same time a question like where the Germany will go. Because everybody remembered Germany's history within last century. So it was like, you know, a kind of like what can happen now with the whole country, which is the major country of the Europe. So where, where, <laughs> where, what we will see. So that was, that was also, you know, a part of the sculpture. Do you remember the which, idea. which year? You 91, I think it was 91. 91. It was you 91. finished the sculpture. Huh? Um, there's one bronze. There are actually two bronze. There are two bronze, but one bronze is uh, the German at the embassy. embassy. Yeah. Um, since when is it at the German embassy? The bronze? Since the, I think that I, I, did it during the summer and they bought it right away. So you made the, the fiberglass version? And they, they bought this one. They it's, bought it's like, yeah, it's, it's, it's kind of like a funny story because they bought this one and after 10 years they realized that it's actually falling apart, you know, staying outside. And in that time the ambassador called me like if I have any idea how to save it because they, they already had, you know, a, a tons of tourists coming to see it. So I was just like a joke, said, okay, well, it's, you know, cast it into bronze. <laughs> I said, well, okay, it's a good idea. Uh, it will probably last longer. I said, oh, yeah, of course, you know, it's like, look at the antique stuff, you know. <laughs> and then he said, okay, how much does it cost? And I saw that he's more or less doing a fun. I said, well, I can ask. <laughs> so I asked one of the foundry and they finally decided to do it. And it was... And then there was the situation, like what to do, because you know they had the original plus the copy, which was weird. But they bought this one from me, not the the bronze one. So then it was stored for like ten or fifteen years in Leipzig, sorry, in Leipzig, in Leipzig, in the Museum of German History or something like that. And they were never exhibited because they had no room for it. So it, this was like a bizarre situation. And after. 15 years, they said, okay, let's keep it. We have the bronze original, so we don't need it. All right, but so you got the, the fiberglass version back. Yeah. Your artwork is massive. Uh, where does all... No, it's only heavy, it's not massive. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's, it's heavy. Well, and it's not pleasant, you know. 
Oh, yeah, huge. We had the discussion about huge. like what is. <laughs> a lot of people think that if it's heavy, then it's valuable. But some of them are huge, like the, the Kafka heads in, in the city, or your newest okay. project. Uh, I forgot the name. How is it called? The lady who's hugging the house. Yeah, this um, one. Yeah. Where do you start when you when you start realizing these projects, or when you think about these projects? Where do you start? Is it like an idea and you start with drawing or...? No, 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 no. the most important is the budget. <laughs> <laughs> so it goes from, first one is the budget, then you can sort of estimate the size and whatever you know, can be done. Second is the, is the due date. <laughs> okay. And third is a technical stuff, but technical stuff. That's, that's doable usually, so I know how to use the technical stuff. So, so those are the, the three limits. Actually now, more, more or less, it comes with, uh, you know, like... And it's probably the same important, the uh, permit. Because, you know, like 20 years ago, the permit was only a technical permit. But now you have a gender permit, you have a permit of uh, like color, whatever, like offending color, offending shape, offending, every, everything can be offending or offensive. So you have to like calculate all those things. So, so I'm, I, the, the best thing is to do like, you know, cube, this very neutral color, like gray, <laughs> but not with sharp edges, like slightly, you know, so, that's where probably all public art will end up. So you pro usual way is there's like a, a project and somebody's coming up to you and says, hey, I want a thing. All the time, yeah, 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 yeah. Thing. And then after all these steps, you're getting your idea of what the sculpture will look like or yeah, well, what but the architecture, yeah. will, architecture will look like. All right. Um, what or how does a normal, usual day look like in your, as a David Jenny artist? <laughs> okay, usual today, okay, so I woke up 4.45. Uh, uh, did I, no, I had no breakfast actually. Uh, I think that I checked the yesterday's mail, mail which I get from States. Uh, toothbrushing, toilet. And the moment when I was leaving, which was like 6.15, my daughter woke up, so I, could, I had a good chance to just say, Father, Father, look at this, you saw it only on the phone. <laughs> the last two weeks. Uh, so, then I left, well, uh, and I was here like 6.30. So, and we had a meeting with the guys from the train, so. But so it was like house. a usual day. <laughs> is this like a usual day as well? No, no, no within the last three months. Within the last three months, yes, that's a usual day. And it was like, which is your favorite artwork? Your own favorite artwork? Yeah, uh, not, well, I really like the, the guns upstairs, you know, the American flag. And I really like the speakers, because I haven't seen the speakers since, you know, this is the, it's actually the second time I get closer to those, and I really like them. And which one is your most challenging artwork? Which challenging which artwork robbed most of your <laughs> nerves? Oh well, uh, don't know. I, uh, I have no idea. Mm. There's not one artwork which drove you crazy. Uh, well, the butterfly, the, the, the butterfly, because now, you know, so it's like taking enormous, enormous effort to make it and, and everybody's are crazy because it will be huge and it's super technically difficult and, uh, well, okay, well, like, Technically the difficult thing was also the Porsche, you know, the, the one which the okay. beetle, the beetle on the nail. Uh, because it is a really like a technically super difficult piece also. So you designed the, the mechanical part of that? I, I designed the principles, how it is going to be moving 
Of course, I did not design the like, technically. I'm not engineer. But 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 the like the function how how it will work. That was my idea. So it works like it actually works like a like the the bifold, not bifold by by hinges door. Uh, it's like a, it's it's yeah. So it goes both ways, uh, and then the hydraulic. So yes. Way. All right. Last question. Future project. If you have like a wish, what would be like a, a project you really would love to do in the future? Okay. Now I have to finish. <laughs> <laughs> The projects which are actually on hold and which I'm no, not able to work on is the the, the project for Lisboa Sporting. Uh, second is the Olymp Czech Olympic team or Czech Olymp the Olympic house in for for Paris 2024. Third one is the big sculpture for Lodge. Another one is the sculpture which will be actually right here on the corner two more sculptures for LA uh, after we unveil the piece which is already installed there uh, big ones uh, the building you know the building with the the boat the TT tower plus the the house with the was the derailed derailed Train. It's also going to be realized. Uh, what else? Well. So I see there are no wishes for new projects. <laughs> no new project would be to be able to take sort of care of my daughter a little bit more, so she she won't run away when she sees me, you know, on life. <laughs> All right, David. Thank you very much. Done. Good.